up, fellas? It's Ty. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things prostate and prostate cancer related. If you're new here, welcome to you. If you've been here for a while, watch the video, maybe even like this, subscribe. I appreciate you. And welcome back. So today I want to bring back a topic I've spoke, I, I've, I've mentioned on, on numerous occasions, right? And it's incontinence. And as I was looking over the topics, it was my goal to make sure that as you go through your prostate cancer journey, that I could let you know some of the things that you could expect. And I realized I left something out. And so it was very important to me to make sure that I made a video for those of you who may not be aware of this so that everybody's on the same page and you can plan accordingly. So let's talk about it. So here's what I did in the past. In the past, I've talked about what's called stress incontinence, right? So when we talk about incontinence, a lot of people look at it holistically and they think that it's just one single thing, but there are different types of incontinence. And it's not specific to those of us who've had the radical prostatectomy. I mean, incontinence could happen to anyone. It's just that if it happens to us, it's uh, mostly because we've had the radical prostatectomy. Now, there are people who've had radiation and some of the other things, and those things also cause incontinence. So the stress incontinence is when you put pressure on your bladder and you involuntarily leak urine. And so how does that occur? Well, if you see my beware of the sneeze video, that is stress incontinence, right? You sneeze and because you're putting that pressure on, you can potentially involuntarily leak urine. In the same vein as that, if you're laughing or coughing or jumping, all of those things could put pressure on your bladder and if it's full or if you you know have some liquid in there you you, you could involuntarily pass urine again this is things that when when i say involuntarily pass urine that's exactly what i'm saying you don't know that it's coming out in some cases it's just that you are a couple of drips here and there or it could be more than that but during that incontinence phase you are going through that circumstance and you may or may not know Secondarily, I had another video that I did about climacteria, and that's when you pass urine during your orgasm. So if you've had the radical prostatectomy and you are having an orgasm, in most cases, that orgasm should be dry. If it's not dry, then in most cases, it is urine. And you need to be aware of that, right? Because that's one of the circumstances that you were not really sure of that, right? So you're going to have the same orgasm feel and all of those things, but you're going to be passing urine. But here's what I left out. What I left out was something that applies to those of you who know you have incontinence. You're wearing pads, you're out, you're prepared. And also for those of you who've had the radical prostatectomy and may or may not have ever had an incontinence issue occur before. You need to be aware of this. It's called arousal incontinence. What happens is when you get an erection or you think about something and it causes you to have an erection or Woody, as we used to call it uh, back when I was a little younger, when you get those things and those thoughts come in and you get an erection or some type of stimulation, you may pass urine. And when we were younger, it was what pre cum or something that we called that uh, when it came out and it was like, oh, well, a little bit, but that's not what's coming out now. It's going to be urine. And you need to be aware of that because if you've never had an incontinence issue before and you have had the radical prostatectomy and maybe you've been going along great and all of a sudden you have feeling stimulated, you may pass urine. Now, for those of you who are in the situation where you are thinking about something and you are getting an erection that's awesome that's a great situation to be in right because that is close to normal where you were thinking about something you get aroused you get an erection for others you may be working through that stimulation circumstance and you may notice that you're passing some urine you just need to be prepared for that for those of you, like I said, who know you have incontinence, for those of you who have never had an incontinence issue, and now all of a sudden you're getting aroused and you don't know what's coming out. Because again, it's urine. It's not going to dry. It's not, it's not just going to go away. So if you are passing urine, you need to be aware of that. All right. So like 
It's always my goal to make sure you guys are prepared and that you are aware of the circumstances that comes along. So as you're going through your ED issues and you're trying to do your stimulation to make sure that you get the blood flow back into your penis, just be aware that you may or may not pass some urine, right? You need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of that when you are in circumstances with a significant other, right? Those types of circumstances and when you're going through that, you, you just need to make sure that you understand how your body's working. And as such, you can plan accordingly. All right? So look, I hope this video finds you well. Peace and blessings, fellas.